So it's come to an end. MWC 2017 is over and Team Tech Radar has, I think, utterly crushed it. So we are here getting our final highlights and telling you exactly what we think you should take away from this lovely show. So Pexy, what was the number one highlight you think? Uh, I think the biggest story of the whole show was probably the Nokia 3310. Having an actual feature phone being the highlight of the show is amazing in 2017. It's a brand new release, but having that come back about 17 years later, it's probably the number one story. Really. But is, I mean, is a retro phone a good thing for a 50, 15 years ago? We're in 2017. Should we look into the future? I think 2.5G is going to turn some people off, but other people are, are going to want it. Uh, you know, the fact that we have 5G and 2.5G, it, it's a big contrast, but it's a phone that's solid and it's going to last you a long time, especially with battery life. If, if you're going to a concert, for example, and, and you want something that's solid on you. And what about the thought of like uh, Samsung? You know, they weren't here, but they were here, and then we got the tease that we were looking for. I mean, are you excited about the S8 now, or are you just thinking, come on, let's let's get it in now? So I can't wait for March 29th because uh, you know they weren't here, and their their presence uh, on the phone side was was uh, felt. But uh, the Samsung Galaxy S8, that's that's what we want want to see. We, we want to see where where they're going with uh, their new phone and and an all screen phone or an almost all screen phone. That's going to be neat. But uh, you know, it's you know a month away. I mean, what's weird, though, is that Samsung didn't really have much branding here. It was Galaxy, 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 and a Samsung logo at the back very quietly. What does that mean, do you reckon? They're trying something different with this whole marketing scheme around the Galaxy S8, so that can mean something entirely different for the S8. I mean, do you think it's because they're worried about the Note burning up and they want to somehow distance Samsung from it? Yeah, what's, well, no, what's interesting about that is that they're still going to do a Note 8 this year they, they've actually confirmed that which is really interesting so they're sticking with that part of it so i don't know why you know the samsung name isn't being touted compared to galaxy well there are other bigger names here and as we know huawei was one of them we thought that could be one of the big successes you, you love my segue you're laughing straight through the <laughs> fact that beautiful. yeah, it was, yeah. It's, it's like a professional chat show um but Huawei was here uh you went to the press conference uh was it the stuff of nightmares or dreams? <laughs> it was the it, it was the stuff of nightmares in a sense. Um, there was a twenty minute segment just talking about color. We had a guy. Uh, sorry. What kind of color? Uh, from about green. Tell me more. We we're talking about green for like a solid ten minutes, and then we we're talking about blue for another ten minutes, and there was just an audible sigh in the room that just it, everyone was exhausted by. Well, they said there was no yellow. Is this, is this the key problem? Could... What happened with red? <laughs> there is a red, so you, you'll be happy. Um, yeah, so the YP10, um, it's interesting. The, the press conference itself was two hours long and just too much nonsense in in my opinion. But uh, you can read the hands-on review on Tech Radar right now. And did you like the P10 generally? Do you think it's the, yeah. the right phone? Yeah, from using it so far, um, I think it's a it's a combination of everything Y has done right in the last few years, but it's not anything phenomenal compared to the Mate 9 or the P9. I mean, let's get to our, uh, our awards, Tech Radar's. MWC Awards 2017, the winner of Best In Show and Best Phone was the LG G6. You've had a little play with it. Do you think it's like the big phone of the year? Is this something Samsung should be worried about? Uh, yes and no. You know, it looks like a beautiful phone. It uh, has that you know wider uh, display. It's 18 by 9, so that's really interesting, and it's it's a different form factor. Uh, it's waterproof, so it is riding on Samsung's heels right there. But uh, you know, if it doesn't do VR, so if that's really what you want, um, you know, you're you're not going to get that. Yeah, but no one cares about VR yet, do they? I mean, I mean, are you excited about this phone? Is it going to be the one that puts LG back in the, back on the map? Uh, yes, compared to the LG G5. We, we like the LG G5. It had a lot of promise, but uh, LG didn't fulfill that promise uh, last year. They uh, got trounced by Motorola with all of the Moto Mods, and we saw tons of Moto Mods from Motorola this year, and uh, when, and we uh, we have a lot of them. We have two LG G5 mods, and so the LG G6 is righting that wrong. But... I'm gutted that they've dropped the modular design, though. though. Like, if they if they just come back and gone, here you go, here's 10 mods, like, just, just go for it. And But that didn't happen. I think they should have done a massive troll. They should have gone for, like, we're, we're going to get rid of modular, we're going to get rid of modular. They just turn up and like, no, not really. It's, it's 20. <laughs> we're coming back with it. Yeah, I mean, but the uh, I think the other big phone, the one that uh, came second in Best in Show, was the Sony Xperia XZ Premium, which was a 4K display, HDR, Snapdragon 835. But, I mean, when's it gonna when's it going to turn up? It's all very well showing something. It wasn't really turning on. I mean, bigger question, is that fingerprint smudginess a bad thing? I think that's a bigger problem, really. Fingerprints all over the back of that mirrored back. Yeah. Your uh, thoughts? I'm more interested in the 4K. Like, that's the number one. Priorities, mate. Come on. <laughs> um, it wasn't really a big enough selling feature. The 4K wasn't really a big enough selling feature for the Xperia Z5 Premium. It didn't do particularly well for the company. So it, what, it, what's the XZ going to do? The XZ Premium going to do? Um, it could be quite interesting, but do you really need 4K on a phone? Well, this is the thing. I was checking out the Dolby Vision um, at the stand, and I thought this is actually really exciting because 
Dolby Vision HDR10, I mean, people don't really care about the standards, but Dolby Vision does just look really good. It's brighter, it's clearer, the colors are better, you can see more things. Amazon and Netflix are gonna be coding stuff in that time. So while you know, we don't really care right now, in, in a month's time, in 12 months time, there's gonna be more content coming out and again and again, and phones are gonna be able to support that, and that is a good thing. Right, let's move on to our personal highlights, Pexy. What was your top tip for the show? Um, I got to kick dinosaurs in the face. Yes, you've, you've been dreaming about this for yeah, years. It's been a while. Um, basically, I was playing a Jurassic Park game called Island 359 um, with a new tracker called Virtual Self, uh, made by the same studio, and it essentially means Vive, uh, the normal Vive tracking headset, normal Vive he uh, controllers, but you've also got trackers on your feet and also on your lower back, so you can actually kick in the game. And like for a penalty shootout game, that kind of thing, that could come in the future, that would be actually awesome. And it's probably the next step of Vive, in my opinion. I mean, that's, that does sound that does sound cool. I've seen the pictures of you kicking, so yeah, I, I, I can confirm that you did kick. Yeah, Swider, so thoughts? I'm gonna cheat here and pick two. So. Uh, no, you're not. So. Oh well, here we go. You know, 5G was my big highlight because of the fact that it's the next generation of wireless antennas. So we're dealing with 4G right now. It's gonna be 10 times as fast as our current connections. And that's that's you know something that we want uh, for both our phones and the Internet of Things, the gadgets that are all around our house. So it's gonna really uh, spur creativity on, on that front. Um, and the other highlight that I I, I had was uh, the Samsung Gear VR controller. So I'm tired of tapping my temple for the Samsung Gear VR touchpad, and I want something in the palm of my hand. Uh, Samsung is going to do it. March 29th, we'll see more. You see, I was thinking that the Gear VR controller seems like a lot of a copy of the Daydream. You know, it's coming in the box, it's all great, but it does exactly the same things. I mean, is, this, is Samsung just copying? It, it kind of is, but it's necessary. So it's the missing link for the Samsung Gear VR. It's the most popular mobile VR headset out there, and I, I want that. Fair enough. So that was MWC 2017. My personal highlight was spending time with these lovely people and getting to see all the new phones you're going to be playing with over the course of the coming year. So thank you for liking. Thank you very much for subscribing. And we've seen all the phones of MWC. We want you to see them too. So check out our video feed for all those top videos. And we'll see you again very soon.